Question is, do we take the car to New Reno? Or do we leave it here? Because if we take it to New Reno, it's going to get hijacked by the Chop Shop boys. You know, we should take care of that anyway. Um, I think he soups it up and gives it more trunk space. Yeah. I think we will. I think we'll take the car. We're going to save first, though. Here we go. Off to New Reno. To hang out with Renesco the Rocket Man. And get our part for the Broken Hill Mines. Where's New Reno? There it is. There it is. It's right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A band of ruffians led by a Morton brother. I didn't look at the last one, which Morton brother it is. This is Newt Morton? I imagine the last one was Snake Morton. I'm going to punch Newt Morton in the groin with a power fist. I'm going to miss Newt Morton in the groin with a power fist. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Morton brother was critically hit in the groin for 21 hit points. The pain is too much for him and he collapses like a rag. Turn. Yep, we're in that situation once again where his crew is separate from him when it comes to factions. Groin for 8 hit points. Groin again for 14 hit points. And turn. Man, this this one this one's got some resistance on him. He's dead though. <gasps> oh, he had a light support weapon on him. Oh man. Good thing I didn't let anybody do anything. <laughs> or let him do anything. That's a heavy weapon, I think. Let's run to the car. Because, like, dealing with these, all of these ruffians here, I will not survive. I am certain of it. I'm just going to go. Wah. That's fun. We ran into... <gasps> the bridge keeper! Oh my god, it's the bridge keeper! Do you wish to encounter a man guarding a bridge? Yes. For some reason, I think I should save my game in a brand new slot. Just casually mentioning that to myself as my character my character mentioning to me to myself so we're going to do that we're going to we're going to do that I, God. bridge keeper those of you who are uh fans of monty python the holy grail uh this mayhaps is a reference let's see if i can get it the first time through the keeper of the bridge of death he says, stop! Those who would cross the Bridge of Death must answer me these questions three! Here, to the other side, he see. Ask me the questions, Bridge Keeper, I am not afraid! <laughs> what is your name? Cato of Arroyo. What is your quest? To search for the Holy Gek. What is the minimum requirement for the Quick Pockets perk? Oh, this is not... <laughs> uh, so I could give him a proper answer. But if I ask him this one, I believe he will explode. <laughs> what do you mean? The statistic or level requirement? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the rogue figure was hit for 990 hit points and was killed. But guess what? He had the bridge keeper's robes. Which are very strong and comparable to the armor that I'm wearing right now. In fact, stronger. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Look at my stats. Look at how much they change with just the bridge keeper's robes. That was a gun. Yeah. So the Metal Armor Mark II is now being beat out with the bridge keeper's robes. Let's look at the description really quick. This smelly, filthy garment must be made out of some kind of special fabric in order to withstand the foulness of the bridge keeper's body. Oddly enough, it has plasma burns and scorch marks all over it, as if these weapons were used against it to no effect. You have no idea why it's purple. It weighs 10 pounds. <laughs> okay. Um, so now my AC is 30. My armor class. And our karma is still 472. Oh, I want 500 karma so bad. 
I can't wait to be disappointed. Uh, so now we'll talk to Sulek. What you be needing? Uh, let's ask him about the spirits and if he has something to say about this place. Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? Let me tell you about this place. They don't want to talk right now. Okay. Combat control. Use best armor trade. And I'm going to give the combat leather jacket to my other companion. There we what go. You be neat. Thanks, Sulik. Thank you so much. Cassidy. My friend. There's some better armor for you. Combat control. Better armor. Really? Metal armor is better. Is it better? Why would I give him the metal armor and Sulik the combat leather then? Okay. I guess the combat leather jacket is no longer useful to me. Oh yeah, one of the interesting things too is it puts my car at the other end of the bridge. That's why it says, you know, new slave, new save slot. But we did it. We beat the bridge keeper. I'm so sorry, I'm having trouble with words. One of the things I did do, I think it's funny that it's really close to New Reno as well. I am all over the place today, I, I, I apologize. That there's multiple locations that are going to be around New Reno by the time we're done. And the bridge is just adding to it. It's not somewhere I need to go back to for anything. Because I already got what was necessary. Are we are we here? We're here. Okay. <laughs> We've been into New Reno. I had a little bit of a the weird frame rate hiccup thing too. I think it's just because I'm using my recording software at the same time. It does that every so often. Data card, dang! Friend, if you ain't talked to Jules, you don't know half of what New Reno got to offer. Hey, you know what? Jules, I'm going to take you up on that. The man smiles, displaying a gleaming gold tooth. His cologne is so strong it almost chokes you. Welcome to the glittering city of New Reno, my brother. And you are? Name's Jules, and I would be most pleased to make your acquaintance, show you around, and set you up with whatever you're looking for. All right, how can you help me? Jules says, I can get you anything you need, brother. If you need to fly, get high, slide down low on a luscious hoe, Jules knows where to go. Question is, I got the treasure. So what's your pleasure? This man is smooth as butter. Jules, I'm looking for a place called Vault 13. He says, you mean Vault City, don't you? That's to the northeast. Can't miss it. All the caravan trails lead right to it. All right. Uh, say I have more questions. I'm looking for a Garden of Eden creation kit. He says, Garden of what? That's some kind of chem? What does this garden thing do? Get you high? Well, it's, well, never mind. I had some other questions. Can you tell me a little bit about New Reno? He says, can Jules tell you about New Reno? Heck yes! First thing you should know, Reno's ruled by the four families. Mordinos, the Salvatores, the Bishops, and the Wrights. Each of them got a slice of the new Reno pie. Well, tell me about the families. Jules says, well now, another thing you gotta know about new Reno is nothing's free. If it is, examine the merchandise. Gotta pay him a hundred chips. It's, it's just money. But they're called chips here. Jules pockets the chips so quickly you swear they vanished. So, which of the fine families interests you today? Tell me about the Mordino family, Jules. He holds up two fingers. The Mordinos are a two-headed beast, friend, and each head's named Jesus Mordino. Jules says, there's the father, Big Jesus Mordino, and the son, Lil Jesus. And both of them are the meanest sons of biscuits you've ever met. Used to be slaves here, but they turned the tables years ago and carved out their own little empire. How big is their empire? He says, they own the Desperado just down the street. Can't miss it. They also have the biggest supply and jet in all New Reno. So if you've got the urge to fly, how come the Mordinos have the biggest supply of jet? He says, they're on top of the pile, friend. Ain't no more reason than that. They got the factory, the maker, and the distribution. They're like a whole gosh dang airline. They got so much jet. What factory? Jules says, got factories all over New Reno, cranking out the crap day and night. That's why you can buy all the jet you need, most anywhere. Bars, casinos, and the street. And of course, from me. Back to the Mordinos and jet. Uh, what maker? Jules says, yeah, leans in. See, the Mordinos got themselves a little gold mine by the name of Myron. Hit the jackpot with him, see? He made Jet. Back to the Mordinos and Jet. How extensive is their distribution network? Jewel says, they pump it all over New Reno for starters. Up north to the Dan and also, uh, catches himself, then shrugs and continues. It's also making its way to Redding nowadays, too. Which, don't hurt the Mordinos person. Not. Tell me about Redding. He says, not too much to say. Mining town northwest of here. Word is, Mordino wants to get the influence there get some of that Redding gold they dig up. So he ships them jet, 
they ship back gold. Everybody happy. I'd like to warn you all ahead of time. There's going to be a lot of info coming out of Jules' face. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. Tell me about the other families. Here's 100 chips. Tell me about the Salvatore family. Jules says, quiet bunch. They're led by Louis Salvatore, an original gangster getting on in years. Their territory is on the west side. And their cribs, this bar called Salvatore's on 2nd Street. Don't be making trouble there. Why not? Jules says, some free advice. You see a Salvatore, you keep your head down and mouth shut, or they'll cut you in two. They got the best firepower this side of CA, so nobody with any kind of sense messes with them, understand? What kind of firepower do the Salvatore's have? Jules says, pistols, except they shoot light. Now Reno's the city of lights, but the light those pistols shine can cut a man in two. Shwoop! Makes a clean burn between the two halves, it does. They shoot light? So they call the pistols laser pistols? He says, well, uh, I don't really know. I ain't sure what you're talking about, but maybe take my word for it. Don't go asking the Salvatore's about these pistols. They have this twitchy habit of killing people who are curious. Okay, let's ask about the other families. And pay him 100 chips. Tell me about the Bishop family. Jewel says, ha, John Bishop? Not much to say. Bishop's a smart one, tough, and he's looking to get it all. Where's his territory? Jules replies, he hangs out at the Shark Club on 2nd Street. He's surrounded by guards, so don't go paying a visit unless you got real business with him, smiles evilly. And keep your business away from his wife and his daughter. Uh, business? Jules says, you know what I mean, brother. Just stay away from them too, lest the thought of being on Bishop's list is something you like. Tell me something else about the families. A hundred chips. Let's go over the Wright family. Jules says, the Wrights. <laughs> the Wrights are the only family who are family. The other families see they got mercs and tumbleweeds for muscle, but the Wright family is the Wright family, understand? Their family? How many are there? Jules says, almost 20 or more true-blooded Wrights. Mean as spit, and each of them uglier than the next. What do the Wrights control in New Reno? He says, they ain't got no casino. They mostly deal in alcohol and sell it to the other families. So if you're looking for hooch, they hang out on the east side of town in a big mansion. Non-family related questions. Where can I get some cams? He says, brother, you need look no further than Humble Jewels himself. I got it all. And if I ain't got it, you don't want it. Shall we get down to business? Okay, let's deal. Let's see what Jewels has. Stim packs. I may regret. Spending that much money on Jewels. But that's okay. I'm not interested in any chems right now. See you later, Jules. Catch you later, my friend. I'm not ready to do it yet. The the starting with the families and such. I'm not just ready to do that yet. So we're actually going to Desperados. This is where Jules was talking that uh, the the Mordinos are at. Not gonna not gonna deal with that yet. You'll see how big how big New Reno is. Okay, this is the this is Second Street. <laughs> This is where the bishops are. This is where the Salvatores are. Over here, the jungle. This is where uh, you can become a prize fighter. Golden Globes porn. Pornography. Obviously. obviously. Uh, but then the, the town splits into two more spots. Over this way is the Wright family. And over this way is Renesco's shop. That's where we need to go. Renesco's Pharmacy. So we're not going to mess with any of the families just yet. We need to get that part. The Canaries kick the bucket is the code phrase we're using. And Renesco, he's another one that I would call a treat. Not someone I want to deal with very often. So I call him that ironically. The old man pushes his broken glasses up his nose and sighs in exasperation. Yes! What is it you want? Come on, man, out with it. Who are you? He says, me? Oh, I'm just Jolly Saint Nick, you cranially challenged halfwit. I'm gonna let that comment slide this time. Now, who are you? Glares at you, and then snorts. Name's Renesco. Just tell me what it is you want. You, well, whatever it is you are, squints at you. You look like you're one of those sun-worshipping primates under all that getup. Hey, I have a pair of glasses if you want them. Renesco snatches the glasses from you and puts them on. His eyes widen. Sweet Reno! That's what this dang shop looks like? What a mess. And hey, what is that on the shelves? Looks like Brahmin crap. Oh, you're welcome. He says, hmm, I, mm, uh, where did you get these? Well, there's this tiny rad scorpion to see. There was a scientist that was training him, and you know what? Even I don't believe it. You just keep them, all right? He says, I, uh, um, uh, grateful. I thought I was going to have to suffer with those broken frames for the rest of my life. If I could do something for you, you let me know, and I'll 
think about it. How about a discount? He says, eh, come on, just a little discount. Come on. Er, come on, a little discount. Well, a little discount. He says, okay, okay, I'll give you a discount. Mm. Great. We'll see what you got, buddy. <laughs> okay. He sells chems. So that would be 39, 750. Okay. Boom. Thanks, Renesco. Really appreciate it, man. I have some other questions. I'm looking for some mine parts for Broken Hills. His eyes narrow. So, well, I need the parts to fix the air purifier in the mine. Zaya sent me. He said, uh, said, uh, crap. He says, I strongly doubt that is what he said. It wasn't the kid areas kicked the bucket, was it? Well, yes. And, and, and the second part was, second part, you didn't say anything about a second part. That low down bat. Just testing you. There was no second part. Well, if Zaya sent you, I suppose I have some parts to spare. Here you go. Don't drop them. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Yay! I forgot that you could give him glasses. And he treats you with a little bit more respect. Our karma's at 477. I think we got like one karma. This place is not a good place to get positive karma anyway. You're gonna be working for crime families. It's not a happy place. <laughs> um, also, a little quick trick. Just popping out of the, the, the red grid. And popping back into town. Go back to Virgin Street here. Uh, something is strange, though. My car is missing. Odd. Where's my car? <laughs> As you pass closer to where the car was parked, you notice faint skid marks leading off to the north. Well, let's follow the tracks. The trail leads you to the wrecked city blocks surrounding New Reno. Hmm. Is this mayhaps the chop shop? I need more save slots. <laughs> I've been to too many places already. Here we go. Hello, gentlemen. Nice to see you all. That is my car. Thank you very much. Let's double check and make sure all the things are in it still. The things are still in it. Let's talk to T-Ray. You see a good-looking black man. Or, no wait, you see T-Ray. <laughs> so the point is, he's very attractive. Okay. Hello, T-Ray. He says, who are you? What are you doing here? That car you have in your garage belongs to me. He says, your car? Man, you don't even know what the heck you're talking about. That highwayman is scrap left lying around. And guess what? Now it's ours course you got an issue with that we could settle it here and now i'm gonna use a little reverse psychology nah that's cool you can have the dang highwayman piece of crap anyway uses too much tricity smells like gecko inside trunks too small be perfect for you though see ya he says whoa hold it there piece of crap smells like gecko man what kind of jet you taking this is a highwayman not only does it run but after i fix it up it's gonna purr like a woman beneath me oh wow what are you fixing on the car t-ray he says, jazz up the engine, clean up the interior, put a brass rope around the license plate, and kick some of that crap out of the trunk, make some room. When we're done, it'll be worth some serious chips to Mr. Bishop. Sell her to Bishop. I can meet Bishop's offer and then raise it some. He says, you're going to match Bishop's offer? That's a lot of Skrilla, man, and a lot of chips. Plus, he's one of the top men in Reno, you know? I get him this machine. There's fringe benefits. Does 750 chips change your mind? He says, man, that amount couldn't you afford to change my clothes, much less change my mind. You must think cars are cheap. Let's renegotiate that. Thousand chips, change your mind. He says, all right, then it's a done deal. Scans money quickly, pockets it. The highwayman's all yours. It ain't got no battery juice, of course, and it ain't got none of the special amenities I was going to add. What amenities are you talking about? He says, you know, jazz up the battery power, spruce up the engine, clean out the interior a little bit, give it a shine, put a brass rope around the license plate and kick some of the crap out of the trunk. Make some room. Any of that interests you? Only 500 chips. All right, 500. Here we go. Done. Takes money. It's all taken care of. And look, ever need batteries? Come talk to me and I'll hook you up. Can I look at your stock now? Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover. And thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching. I'm Kato Genesis and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.